All right, we are hopping back into some more Spyro today. I'm sure you guys are probably just as annoyed as I am that I did not get these. So I will get those. Now we're at an even 600. And now we're not. too fast. There we go. Alright, like I said, Molten Crater. I remember playing this part as a kid and wondering how to open this. And even after beating it, I still... I still had trouble remembering how to do it. I also remember in the original game, I don't know if it's in this one or not, but you can jump into this lava right here and Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the tiki lodge long enough to do anything about it. Wow, it's really sad, dude. They're already dead though. Anyways, you could jump in the lava right there. And on the last hit, you pause and you return to the previous level. And it resets something in the the game data. And you're um, you can't swim anymore. You just walk along the bottom instead of being able to swim, so you get stuck anytime you get in the water after doing that. I don't know why. It was just interesting, I guess, to do that. There's a few different ways of doing that. You can jump out of the map and then jump back and then go under the water. I don't know if that's what it was that it was doing or not, but... Yeah, and then there is also the all the cheats for um, changing the color of Spyro, and then there is a uh, 2D mode and Big Head mode. The PlayStation One era. And I guess the beginning of the PlayStation 2 era had a lot more, a lot more cheats like that. Be sure to keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. The slug just having the time of his life over here. He hasn't done anything wrong. I like his teeth. His eyeballs are fighting. Alright. Ooh. That slug guy. There's another slug guy. Hit him. There we go. That's probably torture to watch. Um, if you were just completely unfamiliar with the games, um, obviously the dragon is Spyro. Um, they just sort of mentioned the dragonfly. That sparks. Um, he collects the gems. If you you probably can't really see it all that well. I'll try to demonstrate on these gems right here. He goes and grabs the gems. 
for you so you don't have to get all the way up on the edge. He is also a health indicator. Um, I'll finish what I was saying before I start that dialogue. Um, then you're at full health. He has yellow, blue, uh, after you take one hit. Then he's green, after you take two hits. And then he disappears. And you have to go and collect the gems on your own. And I like the little feature on the PlayStation 4, the little light bar. Changes colors to what color Sparks is. It's a very nice feature that they added. Here, yeah, take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. There's a gem over here. Oh, it was over here. That's what I was remembering. I want to say there's something with the flowers, but I don't know for sure. It's not something I need to do if there is a thing. And I know I can't finish the level 100% yet. I've got to get a Sergeant Bird. So in every world there is um, a new character like um, Sheila the kangaroo in the first world, it's Sergeant Bird, he's a penguin, and the next world. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah. So all four of the overworlds, there are, there's one creature that you have to pay money bags for <clears throat> Spyro, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Fine. Thank you, Spyro. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. I don't remember what this part is, but like I was saying, you get one of the creatures in the overworld, you do their level, and after you beat their level, they've got little mini levels within these levels. So I need to go back to the first level that I did, Sunny Villa, and I need to do um, the part after that, I've, that I unlocked um, for Sheila. Because she's got a world in there, so we will go back to that. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Thanks, Stony. Now we gotta chase these guys. I don't know what these guys are called. Where they go, nanny, nanny. Yeah, there's not really a great way of doing this. I'll probably fast forward this part. Ooh, almost had him. You lose a lot of ground at the end of the lap, so you kind of want to do it all in one lap. The main thing is he can't mm, he has to kind of run in the middle of the track so if you can cut corners then you make up time you just run straight boom another one he was really fast maybe if I activate the supercharge you'll be able to catch him yeah supercharge here we go I 
Hopefully nobody is... Oh gosh. Hopefully nobody has... I don't know about epilepsy, but... I feel like this could cause a headache. Watching this. Oh, he just kept running. Oh, he came back for me. What a good friend. There's a wall over here. I thought you had to supercharge that wall. I thought that's how you get the skill point. Um, so you just saw a skill point. Skill points are kind of a late game. Thing. You don't really get anything for it until you get all of them. It's just little, I guess, side stuff and not all the levels, but some of the levels. Some of the levels have multiple. Um, but if slash when we beat the game, I will probably go back and do all of the skill points. I probably missed some gems, but that's fine. I'll stream getting the rest of the gems or something. Because I know there's a lot. There's the key from the beginning. So I do know for sure that I'm not going to have all of the oops. All of the gems and eggs. Because I know I've still got the one Sergeant Bird mission to do. So I know that I'm missing some, so I'm not worried about about getting all of the stuff for this level. I already had to come back. But I will go ahead and do this. Okay. So for now, that is Molten Crater. lake i would go get it but i don't want to get my fur all wet yeah you could get it oh. you could dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface and charge underwater by holding down charge as well yeah hunter that's a good idea i think i'll do that when you charge underwater it adds a uh third dimension that's height so it's a little bit harder all, all that to say don't judge me for 
not being very good at the swimming. Okay, that's everything. Um, this is the Sparks level right here. We've got to come back to this world for after we um, beat the boss and we go to the next world, we have to come back. And in here is the hot air balloon to take you to the boss fight and then after you beat the boss to the next world. And we've got... If you can bring back one person from each of our five worlds, we can help you use the balloon. You just explained what I was about to say. Yeah, um... We can use the balloon to go to the next world after we beat the boss. So Sheila's here. He's from the, um, that's the mayor from the Sunny Villa level. And then that's the little guy from Cloud Spires. So there's one more side over here. And that is for this world. I gotta get this guy. I'll see you at the beach. So, check back in next time for when we help Snappy the Seal at the beach. What is this one called? Seashell Shore. I had to say that one slowly, so I didn't say it wrong. <laughs>